self i am udesh uday kumar a third year computer science and engineering student at the same college i am a pilot aspirant and in today's session i will share some insights about aviation and how computer science can help you contribute towards the field of aviation as an aspirant pilot i always wanted to contribute something towards aviation and to become a pilot the expenses are very high just like the altitude they fly when i told my parents that i wanted to become a pilot the first thing they told me was that they can't afford the expenses i come from a lower middle class family so it is obvious that my parents have an unstable financial background the only thing positive that they told me was to get a job earn the required money and go for it on my own i tried my best to gather fundings for my studies i chose computer science and engineering because good computer engineers are paid more so i can earn more if i become a computer engineer while at college i met people with a similar aim i started exploring with a thought in my mind as a computer science engineer what can i do to make aviation better that is the point where i did some research i also took advice from both aviation and it experts i came to a conclusion which is what i would like to share with you today as we proceed further i'll be talking about the scope of software engineering ai vr crm and gaming in aviation before that let me tell you something about aviation The aviation industry is a business sector that is dedicated to manufacturing and operating aircraft. Every mechanical object that is airborne falls under aviation. Let it be a drone or a glider or even a jet airplane. Such objects are called aircraft. Aviation is categorized into different types. You have civil aviation which is also known as commercial aviation. Then you have military aviation and so on we are mainly focusing on commercial aviation and how you can contribute as an engineer specifically a computer engineer so the first point you can be a software engineer you all know that airplanes are automated they have autopilot systems that give the desired output for certain inputs if you are a good software engineer you have a chance to be a software engineer in an aircraft manufacturing company for example you might know companies like airbus and boeing they are the top competitors in commercial aircraft manufacturing these aircraft have a different cockpit configuration but the autopilot systems are more or less the same besides Boeing is facing a serious issue. Its latest model of 737 known as 737 Max has problems with its MCAS or maneuvering characteristics augmentation system. This issue led to two fatal crashes of Boeing 737 aircraft which killed all people on board. the deaths were counted at 357 from both the crashes it was a software issue so i would like to tell you that you have to be very good at programming if you want this job airbus is a mostly a computerized aircraft because controls give the signals to the computer inside the cockpit which then sends the signal to the corresponding portion of the aircraft Meanwhile Boeing is a mechanical aircraft and the computer systems work when the autopilot switch is turned on a software engineer must be deeply knowledgeable in at least one programming language so if you can program well this job is for you now the second aspect artificial intelligence you know that technology has rapidly advanced and improved 
in the past decade. AI has become a subject that you can't avoid. The world is coming to a point where everything is automated. Artificial intelligence technology is optimizing flight operations and hugely impacting the commercial aviation industry. The world's leading airline companies are implementing AI and other emerging technologies to offer personalized services and enhance the customer experience. Self-service kiosks are automating operations and security checks at the airport. The aviation industry leverages AI with machine learning, computer vision, robotics and natural language processing. The key benefits include predictive maintenance, pattern recognition, auto scheduling, targeted advertising and customer feedback analysis to improve overall customer experience. Let me explain each in detail. First one is passenger identification. It helps in identifying passengers and can detect possible security threats at airports. Security scanners, machine learning tools and biometric identification will ease operations at the ground staff level. Second is the baggage screening. AI can be used to detect illegal items inside the bags. Another point is the customer support. Industrial experts predict that AI can be leveraged to provide customer support soon. One more point is that AI can be used for predictive maintenance for an effective process of aircraft maintenance. There are a few successful implementations of AI in the travel industry. One point is that it helps in the journey management system. It helps passengers know when is the best time to purchase a ticket at the optimum price. Next is the chatbot service provided by the airlines. It also helps as a recommendation engine by analyzing previous travels and future interests to provide the best traveling experience. AI helps in detecting fraud and helps in safe online transactions. It helps an airline to convert more revenue by analyzing the demand. So if you are an AI expert or if you are interested in AI field, this career could be yours. Another important aspect which we can't avoid is virtual reality. It is a technology that made a big impact on the aviation industry. Pilots are trained in flight simulators before they are released into their job schedules. Full flight simulators are very costly. Now, VR has influenced this flight simulation. The USFS launched a pilot training using VR instead of flight simulators. Lufthansa has also launched VR training for its cabin crew. The VR market in the aviation industry is expected to have a rapid rise soon. Reduced human errors, increased efficiency, cost savings and improved passenger experience are the factors leading to the growth of VR in the market. If you are interested in AR or VR, gain more skills, become an expert and try. Now, if you are aiming to become a pilot, there is no other way than to go for pilot training. Being a computer engineer can be an added advantage when you are in for an airline interview because you know how the systems work as you already have experience with computers. I would suggest you finish studying the books and clear all the exams before starting to fly. And an important aspect which you should never forget is CRM. CRM stands for Cockpit Resource Management. It was earlier known as Crew Resource Management. It is a set of training procedures for use in environments where human errors can be fatal. 
it is primarily used for improving aviation safety communication purposes and decision making it is an important process air crew can utilize to minimize risks and enhance assessments these are very much valid for countries that have got inherent cultures when it comes to hierarchy and discipline earlier it was a predominant senior junior relation where the senior usually regarded the words of the junior now the process has evolved into professional standards where both pilots are considered as commanders thus making the co-pilots more assertive the best instance i can give you is the air india flight crash at mangalore in 2010 let me tell you what happened there mangalore airport has a tabletop runway It is one of the only three tabletop runways in India. The captain was a Serbian and he had 10,000 hours of flying experience. His co-pilot was an Indian with 3,500 hours. So, the flight from Dubai to Mangalore was making its descent towards Mangalore airport. The captain slept inside the cockpit for 110 minutes during the flight. He woke up before the descent which made him really tired. Usually the descent starts at 100 nautical miles from the destination. But the flight actually started descending at 80 nautical miles from the destination. So the descent was little steep and it reached at an altitude of 4000 feet when it under the final approach. The flight was beyond its stabilization criteria. Mangalore runway is 8000 feet long and airplanes are expected to land at 1600 feet from the starting point of the runway. The captain didn't realize his mistake. The co-pilot asked him to initiate a go around. So, a go around is a procedure where the aircraft announces a missed approach and makes a circuit around the airport to land again. The rule is that whoever inside the cockpit says to go around, the pilot flying must go around. But here, when the co pilot insisted the captain to go around, he disregarded his words and they touched down at 5200 feet from the starting point all they had was 2800 feet to stop the aircraft when the captain saw they were reaching the end of the runway he realized his mistake and he tried to take off again but when he landed he had already applied reverse thrust and the plane slowed down he tried to give full thrust but it was too late Neither the flight could stop nor it could take off again. It overran the runway, hit the localizer, stalled at the end of the runway and plunged into the end of the hill. When one of the hits hit the localizer, seven passengers jumped out and six of them only survived. This happened because the co-pilot was not assertive. He should have taken control of the aircraft when his captain was not responding. So, you must follow the CRM procedures properly. Rest in peace to all the victims. The last point I would like to tell you is that you can be game developers. You know flight simulators are built using gaming software. If you are into game development or if you are very good at graphic designing, you can join us flight simulator developers in companies like Microsoft or Laminar Research or so. Because flight simulation is more realistic when you give graphics. And airplane games that you find on the Play Store are entirely different than a flight simulator because it deals with an interactive cockpit. So, I hope I have given you enough information on how you can contribute towards aviation. I hope this was worthy enough and 
helps you build a career for you once again i would like you to remember that the aviation industry offers you more salary as compared to an engineer in an it company thank you for joining this session and i hope you make the best out of this i will be back with another session on how to crack aptitude test more effectively and easily if you have any kind of doubt regarding this topic you can reach out to me through my linkedin and instagram handles once again thank you and have a great day